Content Aware Fill is, is probably one of the most powerful features inside of Photoshop. It's one of the main reasons for all styles of photography that I will ever leave Lightroom to go to Photoshop. And it might only be for 60 seconds, but it is seriously one of the most powerful things, one of the most impactful things uh, that I do to for post-processing for my photos. What we're gonna do in this video is I just wanna show you that there's a simple way to use content aware fill, and there's a more complex way. And I wanna show you the differences between the two so that you can work both of them into your photo workflow. So let's dive in here. So we'll start off with the simple way. So the simple way is to first make a selection. In fact, before you do any content aware fill stuff, you're gonna make a selection. So my preferred way to do this is to go grab the lasso tool um, right here inside of Photoshop, keyboard shortcut is L. And then you're just gonna make a very loose selection. Doesn't have to be perfect. Can be a very loose selection around whatever it is you wanna get rid of, okay? Now I'm gonna show you the long way to do the simple method first. Okay, which is come up here to the edit menu, come down here to fill. We have a selection. We're telling Photoshop we want to fill it with something. So we come down here to fill. And one of those options under fill is content aware, right? In addition to all the different color and pattern options that we have. Not too many other options in here and none that are really going to drastically make it work better. Uh, so what we do is just click OK and it should get rid of it, and it did. It did it very well in this because it's a pretty simple uh, distraction removal, lots of continuous tones around it, so we get away with it really easily. And then you just come up to select and choose deselect. As always, keyboard shortcuts are the faster way to go. All right, so I'm gonna undo a couple of times just to run through how simple that can be because we don't need to go through the menu, all right? I went up to the edit menu last time. The keyboard shortcut to get here is actually shift delete on the Mac or shift backspace on the PC. So what I would do is make my selection really quick, shift delete, shift backspace, hit enter or return, bam, it's gone, all right? So that's the simple method, super easy to try. So let's move on. So now we come over to a photo like this, all right? So we come over here and let's say, I don't know, let's say I just wanna clean up this branch slash stump that the Osprey is sitting on and see if I can just, minimize it a little bit, just you know, get rid of part of it. So I'll go down here and I'll go through and do a rough selection of that. Do shift delete or shift backspace, content aware, enter or return. And it mostly gets rid of it. It adds a little bit of it back down there to the bottom, but that's not too bad. But at this point, you're probably starting to see where some of the issues with this can come in. And it's gonna become a little bit more apparent when I go to a photo like this where I'll go through and I wanna get rid of this little clump down here. So we go through, we select, shift delete, shift backspace, enter or return, and you're gonna see Photoshop is gonna to start to bring in other parts of the image in here, okay? That's because we don't get any choices, we don't get any options, we can't really tell it what we wanna do, and Photoshop's gonna take its best guess at it. And a lot of times, especially on a simpler photo, because if I went over here, let me undo that. If I went over here, we could get rid of that in a heartbeat, right? I can already tell you there's gonna be no problem in getting rid of that. But over here, because there's stuff close to it, Photoshop needs a little bit of help. So at that point, when that happens, I'll go and I'll make my selection again. When that happens, then I'll go up here to the edit menu and I'm gonna go down to content aware fill. It's just right below where fill was. You see the content aware fill option. This is gonna open up the big content aware fill window where you get a lot more options. And I'm not gonna go through this exhaustively to dive into everything, but I'll tell you what the most important options are, which is going to be the little brush that you see over here on the left-hand side. It's the sampling brush. And essentially you go in here and you paint on areas that you want it to sample from. And then you go use the minus part of the brush to take areas away from that. So you can add green, which says, I want you to consider this in your sampling. And then you can go to the subtract part of the brush. And by the way, whatever brush you have chosen, if you just hold down the option key on Mac or alt key on PC, it'll switch to the opposite brush. So that's a real quick way rather than come up here to the menu to do it. But now you can go up here and you can start and paint away and say, I don't want you to consider this area here. And there's some other options in there. I gotta be honest with you, I barely ever have to go into them. But the purpose of this is that 
you get so much more control with this. Now, if you're having trouble getting rid of something because it's, it's pulling from another part of the photo, in this window, you can tell Photoshop that you want it to pick from a very, very specific part of the photo. So my workflow and my recommendation for you would be always go in and try and do your lasso. Lasso, whatever it is that you have to do, hit shift, delete, shift, backspace, enter or return, give it a try, okay? See if it works. If it doesn't work, all you did was maybe take three seconds out of your day. You can do command or control Z to undo it. And then you can come up here to the edit menu and just go down there to content aware fill where you're gonna get a lot more options and a lot more flexibility when it comes to removing those distractions.